y'all. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that everybody has had a great week. Today is Friday, March the 1st, y'all. I cannot believe that it is March. Like, where has the time gone? If you hear that noise, that is my puppies. They are wanting in here, and they just have turned into the terrible two. And I just need a break. So hopefully they will go play and stop trying to get in here. Okay, I have been missing in action for a little while. I am so sorry. I have not really been thrifting. I did um, do quite a bit on our anniversary weekend, which I still have not showed y'all the majority of those things that we purchased. I'm going to, like I said, kind of do that once I get everything um, ready for spring and just point those things out. Uh, I have been to the thrift store once, and that was last Friday. So I have a great haul for you guys, so let's just get with it. Now the first thing I've got, is, and I'm not gonna open it out of the bag because it literally has dirt all over it, but I got these, I hope you can see, you might not be able to, these very rusty, well, they're probably not rusty, they're probably just dirty. Um, uh, I don't know, garden tools, and I wanted this orange one because I thought that that would be really cute in a spring display. And it was um, $3.99, so $2 a piece. Okay, so the puppies won and they're actually in here. The last time I left them in here while I was working, one of them chewed a cord in half. So I'm not trying to be mean. It's just that I have to have my eyes on them all the time. So anyway, back to the haul. It was the Corning Wear Day, which I am a huge fan of Corning Wear. So I was able to pick this up. It was five dollars, and it had that included the lid. I have not washed anything, y'all. It's actually been in my car this whole week. I just brought this stuff in, but it's just a good size casserole dish. Um, it's that uh, French white corningware. It is probably we got a piece of it when we opened our checking account when we moved. Um, we did. We moved a few times when we first got married. So when we moved back to Nashville, so it's at least. 28 years old because we got a piece of this when we opened up our account but i love this corningware and i um grabbed that for five dollars i definitely will use that so that is a practical piece and i don't have any of this stuff in any order that makes sense it's just kind of right at my feet now i did grab this owl um he was three dollars but i want some owls for fall so i like the looks of him Now, I did find another beautiful gathering basket. It was $3, and it was full of this, um, look at these potatoes. I think, what they make these out of? Pantyhose? This is like straight from the 80s. Uh, and some um, little red apples. There's a random cherry in here. A pine cone. And then, I don't know, I didn't even see this until now. It's, Somebody's um, pantyhose knee high made like some little potato lady. So I probably will not use this fake food. I might try to meet up and give it to the old so-and-so. I don't know if she'll want pantyhose potatoes, <laughs> but she loves fake food. But I love this basket. And for $2.99, I did not really care what was in it. And if you're wondering why we're at such an odd angle today, well, let me just share that with you. This living room is such a disaster and you're even sitting on my couch so you might move a little bit and i apologize for that anytime we change up our decor seasonal it just destroys my house and i only have seven totes of spring it is nothing like christmas but since we've made so many changes to our home you know bringing in the vintage and adding the different vintage pieces of furniture um it's like decorating you know from, from scratch, you know, I don't really know how I wanted to do things. So it's taken me, usually I can decorate for spring in a day. And I've been working on this for a week now. And uh, on top of not feeling good, I've had a really rough week. So I just have stuff everywhere. If I showed you, you'd probably judge me at how awful this room looks. So we're just at a different angle today. So going on along with the thrift haul, I got these and I think that in my mind, when I was buying them, I thought that they were copper. They're clearly not copper. I just wasn't processing really what they were, but I still love them. I think that they'll be really cute for um, spring or summer, but they are the like um, gold finish measuring cups. 
Let me open them out of the bag. Good grief, guys, y'all, I'm sorry. I didn't want to open that other thing because it was literally dirt, but I got all of these for $2.99. So those will be really cute to add to, you know, a type of vignette. Um, all the cups are there. I probably will not use them. Um, I may, I don't know. I have some silver ones and I dirty them up a lot. So, but anyway, I thought, like I said, that they were copper. Got home, realized, no, nope, they're gold. It's great, it's fine. These will be pretty in a baking vignette or something. I totally forgot about some of the stuff in this bag. For 99 cents, I got this really cute little brass candle holder. I do think at one time they had two. Um, whoever made this donation, um, there was like 10 candlestick holders and the majority of them were like 10 and $14 a piece for a brass candlestick holder. Um, that's higher than even some that you'll find in an antique store. So I wasn't even going to mess with them, but then I did find the little lone one for 99 cents and I thought he was cute. So I grabbed that and I did grab one of these two and three fourths cup little, um, spice of life casserole dish. I have two of these and I just think they are so cute and they are perfect for, um, if you're heating up vegetables for, you know, like two people, um, there are some things that my kids want to eat. My husband and I like, and you can just heat it up in this cute little dish. And I like it cause you can put it in the oven. You don't have, well, you know, I guess you can put a lot of stuff in the oven, but, um, that's better than microwaving. And as many of you know, I'm collecting the Spice of Life. So for $4, it doesn't have a lid. None of mine this size have lids. Um, but if I ever run across, and I think that if the lids that you would find are plastic anyway, but I am on the look for them. And if I find three, I would like to have lids. Okay, so like I said, no rhyme or reason. I have another Corningware dish. And y'all, I love this size dish this i've had this dish before let's see if it says what size it is it is two and a half quarts i have had this dish for four, before it was 3.99 um and i broke it and i absolutely love this size this was the perfect size dish um if you're making like chicken and dressing for just your family i used mine for that all the time and the lid was separate it was 99 cents um, but I remember being just devastated when I broke this. So I was so excited to find this for, well, I guess $5, um, including the lid, but this was a great functional piece to have. Here is another two and a half quart that I picked up and it's round. I did not have this one. I had this in a smaller, so I was excited to get it. It was $8, which makes absolutely, and I'm going to be honest, I didn't probably know that that was $8. I'm willing to bet that I didn't pay attention to the fact that it was $8 um, because it's the exact same size as that other one. So my point stands that there is no rhyme or reason to this pricing. But nonetheless, I have a perfectly great casserole dish and the lid was $1.99. So I don't know, make it make sense. Now, I also picked this up. There were some great things there, and you could tell that it was all from the same donation. I have the white and red enamel. I used them at Christmas time, the little pots. I put Christmas trees in them, so, and I have been wanting some green enamel, so I found this. You can see the green enamel, and it is more of like a beige color, but I wanted this. I'm going to, I don't know. My thoughts were that I could fix a cute little um, spring, you know, vignette in here. Use this as like a tray with maybe some faux cabbage and a rabbit and some carrots or something like that. I'm not sure how exactly I'm going to style this. Um, or I may put it outside on my front porch and do something out there with it. But it was $3. So that was a great price for the green enamel because it's hard to find out. I hardly ever see the green enamel. Now, I don't know why I bought this other than I just have a thing for wood. It's got dents in it. Um, it's definitely seen better days, but it was a little, probably like a mail organizer. Um, it was $2.99, hangs on the wall. There's the thing. 
Now, I may, I do not like painting wood, but I may paint this. That's the puppies, I'm sorry. I have really, I've always liked green. I've always um, liked the shade of green that's getting so popular. But I might paint this a really pretty green um, to kind of have out this spring and summer because I'm going with a lot of greens. I don't know, we'll see. Well, I will let you guys know what I end up doing with this, if I paint it or not. And the last thing that I got from the thrift store on this trip, I have been trying to thrift this particular item pretty much since I, well, maybe since the summer. Um, or I would see it at an estate sale and I would get there too late. Um, I would see it in antique stores and it was way too expensive. So I had looked all around and I was about to leave and I thought, well, let me just you know, make one more loop. They were putting out new product um, and I caught this out of the corner of my eye. So it is not the one that people are selling for thousands of dollars on eBay. Not that one. I was very excited to get this big Mac Daddy of the old Sweat Spice of Life. Now, I know that there is a bigger one. There's one with, a little, I think it's a little bit bigger. It's got the three words. I don't know what it says because I don't speak French, but I love this. This is a great size. I think it's what, the three quart? There's no markings. There's, well, there's some, but I can barely see it. Um, so it was $13. I couldn't have bought this, you know, in a store for this price if this were still selling, well, if it was something this size we're selling today. So I will use these. Um, and as I say that, I'll be honest, yes, mine are all packed up from, I packed them up with fall and I did display them. But if I need to use them, I will. Corning wear is an investment. Anytime you buy it, whether it's new or whether it's vintage, Corning wear is great pieces to have. Um, it's, you know, some of the pieces are beautiful as decor, and then they're also very functional. They're perfect in the oven. They, you know, bake up, they clean up good. That's what I love about them is they clean up so good. So this will probably be, I'm not going to lie to you, it's going to be packed up until the fall, mainly because I don't have, like, my um, cash roll dishes and things that I use is completely full where I put them. I don't have room to really add more, um, but nonetheless i will pull it out this fall and i may use it this fall um you know if i had a place to store them where i could just get to them easily i would not be packing them up seasonal i would use them so now the last thing i'm going to show you i didn't actually purchase it kind of went with something i'd already bought um i ran to tj's the other night and we had bought that beautiful gold mirror that's on our mantle that i believe i showed you guys um, and the lady that had brought the mirror in brought this in with it the other day and said that it went with the mirror. So they didn't charge me for it, but it's like, it's a wall shelf and here's the back of it. It's not wood. It's some sort of, I don't know, plastic type material. Um, but it's really pretty. It's, uh, I don't know if it's been painted a few times. It's got a great patina on it. So... I don't know what I'll do with this. I'm not sure if I'll put it with the mirror since I have it on the um, mantle. If I move the mirror and put somewhere else, I could maybe put this under it. I'm not really sure, but I do like it. And I will, you know, try to um, be looking for a home for it. Now, I forgot to show you guys my two latest auction wins. I did win this soup terrain. Now, on the description, it said that it was ironstone and you really couldn't read the marking on the bottom, um, but when I got it, it is not ironstone. It probably was a home goods item. It was made in Portugal, and you know, they have several um, dishes that they have that are made in Portugal, and once I was able to see the um, marking, I could kind of tell that's what it was, but it's still cute. But I won this beautiful green transfer wear um, ironstone gravy boat. Ah, sorry, that was my copper pans. Look at that patina. Look how beautiful that is. It is um, Florence, made in Florence, I guess. It is absolutely beautiful. I was very excited to win that. And nobody bid against me. I paid $9 for that. But anyway, that is my thrift haul from last week. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to go anywhere out 
This weekend, guys, I've got a ton of homework that's due Sunday, and I have just not felt well this week. It's been a crazy week on top of that. Um, just staying home and resting sounds fabulous, but four sisters just having their spring open house, so I may run over there. I'm not really sure. Anyway, I hope to see you guys soon. I had no intentions in it being so long till we got back together to chat. So hopefully we'll be some kind of video. I would love to be able to show y'all some spring to start showing you how I've got some of my spring going. Um, I may try my hardest to finish that. Greg is off Sunday, so we might can finish up Sunday, get everything put back together and take you on a tour of our spring. Um, use lots of greens this year. Green was is the in color but i used it last year as well so i you know kind of stuck with what i had but i love the way it's turning out so far all right guys you all have a wonderful weekend and until i see you next time happy thrifting